Everybody, Jeff Bates is my name. Dole with Dad is his channel. I'm glad you're here. My last episode of Vision 2020 coming at you right now. All right, so today I was on Instagram and they had one of those checklist things that, you know, people fill out and then they send you the blank when you get to fill it out too. And I really had a plan for today's video to end the year about my year in Disney. And I thought, this is easier and better than my idea. <laughs> so I threw that idea away and I'm going to do this. So this is the 2019 Disney checklist. All you do is you check off the things that you did in 2019 involving Disney. And I just think it's fun. I had my wife do it. I'm going to do it. And then we'll end Vision 2020 for the year at the very, very end. So here comes Paula, then me, and then me again. Here comes the good part, Paula. All right, the 2019 Disney checklist, Paula style, Mrs. Dole Whip Dad. Which of these did you do in 2019? Ride, Rise of the Resistance. No. Road, Smuggler's Run. Yes. What'd you think? Oh, I loved it. It was so fun. It was really great. Especially having like the kids with me. The kids were um, pilots and I actually spent a lot of my time just watching their responses. And so I should probably write it again so I could really see what we did. <laughs> Tried blue milk. Do we do blue or green? One of them, I really don't know. I think it was blue. Well, the next question is tried green milk. I don't know. I tried one of them. I want to say, I don't know. It was good. It was kind of fruity. <laughs> so we tried both. Did we? We did. I don't remember trying both. <laughs> <laughs> did you build a droid? No. Did you build a lightsaber? No. Did you have any Dole Whip? Yes. I mean, yeah, duh. How do you know, right? And? It was amazing. <laughs> so we had the fun Dole Whip too that Stitch jumped into the Dole Whip machine at the Poly and he turned it blue. So that it was, was very fun. cute. Regan wouldn't have any because it was blue. Yeah. <laughs> Did you try any of the gray stuff? No. Did you eat a Mickey pretzel? Hmm. No, I ate a pretzel at Disney Parks, but it wasn't shaped like a Mickey. Did you have breakfast at Carnations? Carnations. No. Did you take a picture in front of the castle? Mm, yes. Nothing about that? No. I think it was, um, we were dressed as the Sanderson sisters and we took a picture on Main Street. By we, she does not mean me. Just going to throw that in there. Mm -hmm. Took a, oh, I already read that one. Met a character at the park or at a park. Met a character at a park. Did I, oh yeah. We did the grave dig diggers and... I don't know who else I actually met. Oh, Minnie and Mickey. Did you get any character autographs? Mm, no. Did you go to Disneyland? Last year, did we go to Disneyland? Yes. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. But yes, graduation. Without me? Grad night. Yes, without Rude. you. Rude. <laughs> did you go to Disney World? Yes. Did you go to Disney Paris? No. Did you go to Disney Shanghai? No. Did you go to Disney Tokyo? No, I don't like these questions. <laughs> Did you go to Disney Hong Kong? No. Do you use a fast pass? Mm, yeah. Pretty sure we did. Yes. <laughs> Did you buy an <laughs> annual pass? No. Did you take any photo pass pics? We did. And let's see. It was during our California trip. We did a whole bunch of them because the fast pass there, photo pass there, is you can buy it for like a day. It's amazing. And so we did tons of graduation pictures. Without me? Without you. <laughs> to go on a Disney cruise? No. Did you stay at a Disney hotel? Um, we stayed on at a resort. Yeah, I guess. Is yeah. that considered a hotel? Yes. We were at the Polynesian. Yes. <laughs> Did you buy Disney Plus? Yes. For like years and years. Did you go to downtown Disney? Yes. Without we me? did. Without you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had food. <laughs> <laughs> did you buy any souvenirs? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, always. Did you wear any Mickey ears? Uh, yeah. About, let's see, of my 28, I probably wore like four or five there. Did you Disney bound? Mm, I did for Halloween for the party. Um, I was uh, this one of the Sanderson sisters. 
Did you go to Dapper Days? No. Have you ridden Emotional Whirlwind? No. Have you watched a fireworks show? Yes. It was very hot. It, but it was, was a really hot. fun one, but I was so, it was so sweaty and I wanted to sit so bad and there was no place to sit. Did you get a treat from the Cozy Cone? Mm, yes, we did. Yes, we did during grad night. Did you celebrate Halloween at the parks? Yes. Did you celebrate Christmas at the parks? No, it was just horrible. Did you go to a Disney water park? No. Did you get a max pass? Nope. Did you both open and close a park? We opened, we opened. Uh, I want to say magic, no, the animal one, animal kingdom. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being perfect, how great of a Disney year was it for you? Mm, a nine. Nine, how would it be a 10? We would have been there at Christmas and we would have went more often. Yeah, I love that <laughs> answer. That's her 2019 Disney checklist. Pretty fun. Did you like doing this? Yeah, it was fun. That's all for now. See ya. All right, so that was Paula's answers. Here are mine. 2019 Disney checklist. Road Rise of the Resistance. Only on the Resort TV One live stream and other great YouTubers videos and streams. But no, I haven't done it yet, but I will. Road Smugglers Run. Yes, multiple times. It was awesome. Tried Blue Milk. Yes, I liked it. Tried green milk. Yes, I liked it. I gotta be honest, I like one more than the other. And I don't remember which one I like better. Oops. Built a droid. No. I, 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 I'm not interested. Went in there. Enjoyed it. Got some great video in there. Really loved the room. Don't anticipate ever doing one unless one of my kids wants to or grandkids wants to or something. Built a lightsaber. All my buddies want to build a lightsaber. I don't... I'm, no, I haven't and I won't. Ate a Dole Whip. I mean, this channel is called Dole Whip Dad. Yes. I've ate a Dole Whip this year. If I had the next year I don't eat a Dole Whip is probably the year of or after my passing. Oh, morbidity. Sorry about that. Tried the gray stuff. I have not. I hear it's great. Ate a Mickey pretzel. Now I, I watched, I listened to, and I watched Paula answer. I'm gonna say yes. I ate a pretzel. Pretzel? Also, I ate a pretzel at the parks. I don't think it was a Mickey pretzel. I gotta be honest with you. I may have never eaten a Mickey pretzel. I love pretzels and I get pretzels at the park. I'm pretty sure I bought one this time in the German pavilion. I'm 99% sure that's where I got it. And I probably always will because they're good. Oh my gosh. Eight breakfast at Carnations. I did not. I don't think I ever have. We don't usually do sit down breakfasts. We have. But I don't think I've ever done that. Took a pic in front of a castle. Yes. With Hades hair and with not Hades hair. Met a character at the park. Yes. I Man, so many good ones. I don't even know what my favorite one was. I think doing it at the very, very end of the Halloween party this year with my daughter to meet uh, Mary Poppins and Bert is my favorite because I just got to hang out with my daughter. We were actually the first people in line or the second people in line when they walked away. And so me and her kind of hung out together. It's my best memory of a, a character meet and greet. Um, the grave diggers were amazing too. I could probably go on, but I won't. What's the next question? Got a character autograph. I'm not an autograph guy. At the parks when I was a kid, I did. I signed some autographs in the parks. That was pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, I didn't get any autographs. Um, I feel like I was arrogant there, but I really did. Um, went to Disneyland. No, I haven't been to Disneyland in many years. I need to go back. Maybe this year. Went to Disney World. Yes. Went to Disneyland Paris. Not yet, but I'm working on it. Went to Disney Shanghai, not yet. Went to Disneyland Tokyo, not yet. Used a Fast Pass, yeah, we're not huge Fast Pass people, but we get them and we use them. Bought an annual pass. I'm highly, highly considering using some YouTube income. Thanks for watching those ads, I appreciate it. Um, I might use that money for an annual pass for next year. No, I haven't been an annual pass holder since I moved to Texas. Took photo pass pics. Yeah, we took a bunch when we went down there for Galaxy's Edge opening. Uh, Mr. Gonzo PR and I and others. That was a lot of fun. Went on a Disney cruise. No, um, wifey is trying to get me to want to. I don't think so. Stayed at a Disney hotel. Yes, uh, the Polynesian. Um, also got to stay at Wilderness Lodge this year too. It was amazing. Bought Disney Plus. Yeah, when I'm done with this, I'm going to go downstairs and 
watch Disney Plus. Went to downtown Disney. That's the one in Anaheim. I haven't been back to Anaheim in many years. Bought a souvenir. Yeah, every Tuesday and Thursday and, and in the parks. And yes, 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 yes. Wore Mickey ears. Yes. I'm not a big Mickey ears wearer. I own millions and I put them on to be funny now and then. So yes, I have. Um, they usually get off my head quicker than they get on. Disney bounded. Yes, I will say yeses. I think I Disney bounded for the first time this year as Hades at the Halloween Mickey's not so very scary Halloween party. I really had fun. Pretty sure people weren't sure if my blue hair was because I thought I was a 50 year old rocker. I was 49 at the time. Slow down. Or if I don't think they knew I was being 80s, which made me like it more. Maybe I'm wrong, though. What do I know? Um, where am I? Went to Dapper Days. That's something I've never done. I would like to do that. That looks really fun. I've not done that. Road Emotional Whirlwind. I have not been to Pixar Pier in many years. No, it wasn't a thing yet. Watched a fireworks show. I watch a fireworks show pretty much once a week on Resort TV One's live stream and other places. But yes, I saw a few live. Yes, plenty, many, lots. Got a treat from the Cozy Cone. Same answer. I haven't been back to Anaheim in years. Nope. Halloween in the parks. Yes, I just said that. I love Halloween in the parks. Christmas in the parks. No, that's my biggest negative. As my wife just said, it would have been a perfect Disney year for us. Yeah, had we done that, but we didn't. We didn't get to go for Christmas. Um, but again, Resort TV One brought it to us. Thank you for that. And all you great bloggers who do that. Went to a Disney water park. I've never done that. I'm not a big water park guy. I'm, uh, if the kids slash grandkids want to do that, that would be how I'd get to them. But it's so hot there. I don't know. It doesn't sound fun. Um, but people love it. Um, got a Max Pass. I've never got a Max Pass in my whole life. I don't go to Disneyland that much. And opened and closed a park. I don't, I don't believe so. We, we opened a park... I've opened a park a couple times this year. I don't think we stayed to close any of the times. I don't usually stay. We used to stay to close. Um, I don't think we really do that much anymore. And I think that's it. That was really fun. So that's the 2019 Disney checklist. You can check out my answers if I went too fast on my Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. It's Dole Whipped Dad because somebody is Dole Whipped Dad. And it's not me. What the heck, right? Dole Whipped Dad on Instagram. Those were my answers. I put them up there. This was really fun. And I thought it was a good way to summarize my 2019 year in Disney. There's a lot of ideas I had. I just ended up liking this one better. I think it was fun. So check me out on Instagram. And oh my gosh, I have one more thing to say before we end the year. So this is it. This is the end of my vision 2020. I decided to, and now have accomplished, videoing, editing, uploading a video every day in 2019. I'm very proud of it. It was a goal that I set for a bunch of reasons. Chief among them, I wanted to learn to get better at video editing. I have lots of more things I want to do. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing videos. I'm going to do a couple videos a week, likely. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know my live stream schedule has changed and I'm adding to that platform, platform, that medium. I'm not going to not, double negative, I apologize. I'm not going to not post videos, but I'm certainly not going to do them every day. I have no idea when the first day will be that I don't do a video. If something pops in my head and I want to do a video that day, I'll do it. I will be doing some longer form videos that last more than one day's worth of effort. But my doing a video every day comes to an end right now. Again, it doesn't mean I won't have one tomorrow. doesn't mean I will. I don't know. But what I'm doing here is saying, A, I'm really proud of me. I've been saying for a long time at this point I would high five myself. The high five for myself is really after I post it because it hasn't been edited yet as I'm speaking. And it hasn't been post-production and it hasn't been, you know, all the things. But I'm going to give myself that high five right now. I'm very proud of this. And I want to thank you for watching, whether this is your first one or you watched all 365. I did more than 365 videos because some days I did too. But I did a video every day this year. I doubt anyone but me watched them all, but many of you watched a lot of them. So right now I want to say thank you to you guys. It's been an amazing journey in 2019. I've had so much fun personally. My family's had a great year. My work has had a great year, spectacular year. And I think my channel has had a great year. You know, comparison kills joy is true. When you compare yourselves to other people who are in your niche. So I don't compare myself. I do. I try not to compare myself to people who are my size in the Disney community on YouTube. Because it, it just, that's where things get weird. But when I compare myself to me at this time last year, I'm very, very, very happy. And I hope you are too. Whether you're a creator or a viewer 
one time or 200 of the 365 times or whatever. Thank you for being here right now. It means a lot to me that you would spend even 30 seconds listening to this crazy guy talking about this crazy stuff. But the, the feedback, the analytics, all of it is very encouraging. And if I'm not full of gratitude and saying thank you more often, well, I apologize in advance. But it means everything. I'm not talking to just my camera. Some of you are listening and responding. And that's kind of magical. And I appreciate it. I love sharing Disney with you. I'm planning on sharing more than that in 2020. I'm not going to go over the whole list again. I've been feeling like all I've been doing is announcements lately. But I hope you're hearing what I'm trying to say here, which is thank you for some of the journey following along with me. I hope you stick with me in 2020. We're going to kill 2020. 2020 is going to be freaking awesome. And I really appreciate some of you coming along. So that's it with Vision 20. It's gone. I hope you enjoyed today's last ultimate episode. I'm excited for 2020. That's all for now. Have the best day ever. Go do something awesome for somebody. And if you're watching it during New Year's Eve, I'm posting it in the evening of New Year's Eve, so I'm guessing most people watch it afterwards. But please be careful tonight. Please have fun. And if you're watching this in 2020, which I suspect most of you will be, let's go crush it together. Thanks for being here. One more last time. Have the best day ever. Go do something awesome for somebody. Thank you. That's it. Bye for now.